How's it going everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be doing an engine flush to find out if we can reduce the noise on this high mileage Toyota engine. Okay, so let's hear that noise again. This is a Toyota that has over 300,000 kilometers on it and it presented with this noise. And that noise was present whether it was hot, whether it was cold, whether you were driving slow or fast, that type of noise was consistently there. Now after discussion with the customer, we found out that the service history on this was not known. Customer didn't have the vehicle for a very long period of time and we decided to do a very quick investigation on to see the extent beyond that rock recover. So you can see just how bad it is all the way along there. This vehicle has over 300,000 kilometers on it. The service history has not been ideal. It has had stretch service interval um, history as far as the customer is aware. And we can see the consequences of that. So if you look here, you have hard and heavy buildup throughout. So the plan of attack with this one is, um, we are going to try and flush and see if we can get improvements throughout it. We're going to do multiple flushes. The item that we're going to be using is this Penrite engine flush and the rocker cover is going to be cleaned separately before it goes back. Now with each flush that we do, we will be replacing the oil and we will be replacing the filter. So bear that in mind if you are considering doing something like we are uh, doing here, you will need to replace the filter, you will need to replace the oil, and then run new additive through again. This is very much a trial. This There's no guarantee of massive improvement on this, but this is something that was an option to the customer, and the fact that the uh, vehicle is performing okay up to this point, it does have a top end build up like this with a noise. The other option is complete overhaul, which the customer decided at this point is not something that they want to get involved in. So with that, we're going to do an engine flush and we're going to see if we can save this customer a lot of money potentially by doing this flush and seeing what results we can get. The plan of attack on the engine flush in this was quite straightforward. We were going to do it twice. So we're going to replace the oil filter twice, engine oil, and we are going to follow the instructions to an absolute T on the product. The other thing which is additional is the rocker cover on this is going to get an extensive cleaning in the parts washer. And reason for that is the heavy buildup that was on the top side of that. There is a pipe that runs on the underside of this rocker cover which lubricates the top end cams and we want to make sure that that is as freed out and given every chance that we can create the best oil flow on this engine. And that's the rocker cover there. It needs more cleaning. It's going to be soaking uh, overnight as well. Uh, as you can see, it is massively improved, but by the time it's completely cleaned off, it will be a night and day comparison as to what it was earlier on. And with that, we go ahead and we do the first one. Follow the instructions exactly as they state. So in the case of the Penrite one, which can differ from others, so make sure you check your product before using, is you warm the vehicle up for five minutes. You basically get it up to operating temperature and then you put the product in. Again, check the quantity of the oil that's in your engine and match up the amount um, as per mix required. Then afterwards, run the engine for 10 minutes. So you're allowing that product to circulate for 10 minutes and afterwards you drain it out. So here is a view of the first uh, oil filter and engine oil that came out. And as you can see, it is extremely dirty, absolutely filthy. 
and we're going on to the second flush now. Now the first round didn't have a major reduction in noise but it definitely showed a noticeable improvement so there was a good excitement that this could actually work, that we could reduce the noise. So we go on to the second flush and here we go with the filter. You can see here that it's caught all of that amount of sludge and deposits in the oil filter in just that amount of a time frame. So when you consider that, you need to understand that the breakdown of sludge that comes through, it is imperative that you're gonna change the oil filter regular after doing something like this. In this case, I've told the customer to come back between one to 2,000 kilometers max, and it is gonna be shortening your oil intervals for a while to make sure that you're given every chance for every oil passageway to come, uh, become free and stay free, no blockages, oil pickups, um, ports, etc. You're gonna want them as free and clear as possible. And after the second flush, we put in the new filter, new engine oil, and we start the engine up, and this is the result that we get. And as you can hear there, there's been a massive difference in the noise on the top end of this. It's completely reduced it. We have a noise initially on the startup, then the lubrication circulates around the whole engine and the noise completely, completely reduces. So this has been a fantastic result up to this point, but we don't want to, I suppose, get too ahead of ourselves. There is some things that we need to consider going forward and there is things that could damage this engine after it's been driven. So let's go over the pros and cons first and foremost. The pros, the possibilities when doing an engine flush, and I'm not just gonna talk about this product, I'm gonna go overall because there's different engine flushes out there. Reducing oil consumption is one of them. Reducing sludge deposits and contaminants is the common known one that pretty much every engine flush will say. Increasing compression in an engine. Um, there is a video I watched not that long ago on a Audi and it was able to bring up compression, the engine flush um, one that they used on that video as well. Um, increasing oil flow, obviously, in this video here, the fact that you could hear the difference in lubrication, you know the circulating oil is freer um, and increasing oil flow is a major pro. You want the best lubrication you can. You want to make sure that it has the best chance to stay that way. The cons are ones, I suppose, that people don't consider too much when they're in a parts department, they're looking around. If it didn't have the solvent free, um, you have a bigger risk of doing a gasket uh, damage or um, a seal whether it's a rear main seal, whether it's a front um, front crank seal, any of those areas that have old seals, if it hasn't got that solvent free, it could potentially create oil leaks coming through there. You could find that you didn't have an, an engine that was leaking oil, and then after doing something like this, you could actually have uh, a few leaks or a very large leak, something like that. That's something for consideration. Also the VV, um, in this one, the VVT solenoids, so that variable valve timing solenoids, you wanna make sure that they stay 
it nice and clear. Uh, if you're working on the likes of a Honda, um, the VTEC solenoid, there's a mesh in the gasket on those. You want to make sure that that has stayed nice and clear as well. It will be a case, like if you had the 2.4K series engine, you would pull off that um, solenoid at the at the upper rear of the engine and you would actually clean out that gasket after doing the likes of this you don't want to take the risk of blocking off that circulation coming through there where you would be causing running issues as well um the engine damage blocking up oil galleries and pickups and having a vehicle that was running relatively good or um pretty good to a case where there's oil restriction and then major component failure that is the major con of doing an engine flush like this so that's a breakdown of the pros and cons the reason people do them is one it could be advised to them by a dealer or some uh, workshop as an upsell they're telling you we recommend to have um, this flush whether it's you know you have them injector flushes as well you have all of these different cleaning upsells that you can do as part of a service and really it's not needed whether it's your fuel has cleaning properties in it to help keep your injectors clean or your oil has cleaning like detergents inbuilt in them to help keep your engine clean if you are um, replacing your oil and filter regularly the oils that you're using nowadays with those detergents for cleaning with those dispersants that help keep contaminants suspended so when your oil is circulating they're not allowed to stick they're just circulating consistently getting caught in the filter and then you're replacing the engine oil and filter and you're starting again if you keep your regular maintenance you won't have any issues it's where you prolong service intervals that's when the problems really start to happen And as you can hear there, we had a massive reduction in noise. There's only that initial startup noise that's now there. The customer was over the moon with the results and we were able to give the vehicle back to the customer knowing that they're gonna come back in a very short period of time for another oil change, another filter change, and they're gonna start shortening the intervals for the next, I would say, two to three services and they were gonna monitor it from there. But huge success by doing this engine flush, by cleaning out that top side of the rocker cover. The customer is extremely happy. Performance is all there. And we just need to be a bit careful going forward as that sludge breaks down that we're getting regular oil and filter changes to help this stay lubricated, to make sure that nothing gets blocked up. And that is what the customer is gonna do from now forward really hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it useful and informative if you did please like share comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching